Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Pashwik on the channel where we talk a lot about making and selling digital products and making money by that. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make a simple checklist or simple digital product file in the Photoshop, a simple checklist that you can start selling on the website or even on the Etsy or Creative Fabrica if you're looking forward to selling the checklist, to-do list. It's very simple. I'm gonna show you quickly in the Photoshop. So I'm gonna be diving into my laptop. So before go pa, Consider clicking the like button, guys. I do appreciate that. If you want more such videos in the future, consider subscribing, hit the bell icon. Whenever I'm gonna upload new videos, you're gonna get notified about it. Also, if you're looking forward to making and selling digital product, then I have an entire PDF download of Verbo that will going to help you in getting started with making and selling digital products. It's entirely based on my experience or knowledge of so far having selling uh, the digital products two years now and making thousands of dollars by selling that the link is in description box below it's a pdf download it's a kind of like a workbook planner that will going to help you in selling digital products so without further ado let's get with today's tutorial so you can see wherever we are currently in the photoshop now we're going to start with making the checklist so let's get started with start with the checklist i'm going to go over to the file the new options and then i'm going to pick up the canvas size in the inches uh, you can very well choose the pixels, whatever you want. I'm going to choose in the inches instead of choosing any other units because it makes simple and easy for me to know that it's in the inches. So I'm going to be having six in by nine inches. Then I'm going to keep the background color as white and click OK. So we are here with the new canvas. So we are here with the new canvas. You can see it's a six by nine inches. Some people take 8.5 by 11 inches. I'm going to go over to the uh, text option. I'm going to pick up some font. You can pick up whatever font you want to pick up. And I'm going to start typing over here to get the stuff done. So you can see I'm typing over here. And, uh, and very well, you can pick up the font type and font style the way you want to and choose the specific size of the font which you want to. So I'm just going to quickly do that. So you can see very well I have made the checklist type and done and made the increase the size. I have done it the way I want to or you can increase or decrease the size of the font depending on how you big or small you want. So I put it at the bold because I want it to be a little bit bold and a little bit more showing that it's a kind of like a headline for my you know, digital products. Now I'm going to go over to the option the shape tools and I'm going to be pick up a rectangular shape and I'm going to select this uh, color of the interior of this rectangular shape. You can pick up whatever color you want to but I'm going to pick up some specific color over here. And so you can see one uh, rectangular tool I'm going to drag over here and then I'm going to bring the small circular checklist for the page section over here. So I've selected a specific color, that's the yellow color I've selected for yellow, kind of like an orangish color, whatever color you can call it, you can name it over here. And now I'm going to be going over to the circular tool and I'm going to be bringing a small ellipse tool over here for the checklist that I really want over here. So I'm going to be making the small checklist, the circular, the oval shaped for the checklist so people can tick mark over here or can paint a dot over here and I'm going to bring more over here. I changed its color of the circle to grayish and I'm going to just duplicate the layer and bring more circle for the checklist part and to cover the entire surface over here. So I'm going to quickly duplicate the multiple different layers over here for the multiple different circles for the checklist and then I'm going to be rearranging them in a row in one row in one column so that everyone is having it on the checklist. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to quickly duplicate the number of the times I want the circle to be there on my checklist. So I'm just duplicating it quickly do that. Now I'm going to rearrange everyone on this particular checklist as if you are seeing right now as I'm uh, rearranging them on the entire checklist. These small small circles that are going to make up the uh, checklist. So you can rearrange them the way you want to. You can change its color. You can increase the size and shape. You can do a lot of the stuffs with over here with this particular checklist. I'm going to quickly do and bring uh, all these uh, of the uh, circle shapes and rearrange them as shown so i'm duplicating the layer even more because i have rearranged all the circles that i've already duplicated the layers i've duplicated and now i think i need more shapes to cover the more entire surface so i'm duplicating the layer again to get the more small circles for my checklist and then i'm gonna rearrange them again over here as you can see right now i'm gonna rearrange them uh, and just finish up the entire stuff. You just need to select the layer which you want to rearrange, the circle you want to rearrange, and then rearrange and place in the proper order or the way you want for your particular digital product that you're creating. So you think that I have actually done that. I'm going to see the uh, spaces between these particular circles and rearrange them again to see that they are having a proper uh, same spaces between 
all of the circles. If there is a lesser or smaller, I'm going to just rearrange them over here so that they have a proper uh, distance between the circles so that it looks cohesive. It doesn't look like random. So you can do and make the, your digital product more attractive by these small, small things uh, like rearranging them in a proper circle and having a proper space or distance between them. That's really going to help you and look your product, make your product more cohesive and more high quality product rather than just a random digital product like created like that only. So uh, you can see I'm just rearranging by selecting the different layers of the circle and keeping the distance between them. If I see somewhere the distance is large, I'm just going to uh, keep that distance small. And where it's small, I'm going to increase the distance. So I'm rearranging everything over here. Once I'm finished with the rearranging, then I'm going to proceed towards the next step of this particular making checklist. So I'm going to rearrange them quickly and we were going to proceed towards the next step. Now I'm going to bring some another tool over here and I'm going to decorate this checklist a little bit more. You can keep it simple the way it is looking right now. This part is just optional. If you don't want to do it, then probably don't do it. I'm going to bring one shape tool over here. Now this is the custom shape that I created for myself in the Photoshop. And you can very well create more custom shapes for your own specific purpose for making and creating your products or for designing the products. But I want to have a little bit more fancy. I don't want to keep it very simple so I'm going to use this particular shape tool over here and we were going to choose a very specific color of our shape tool and I'm going to bring this one over here and I'm going to bring it on the various uh, part on my checklist on my digital products likewise you can do and repeat the same process and you can bring all your custom tool your brush tool your pencil tool or if you want to bring any graphic or any clip art or any illustration to for your digital product then probably go forward and do that because I'm keeping this one as a last step over here. You can very well can do it in the very beginning itself. It's just the way I make the products. Uh, again, there are so many ways in which you can create a digital product. It's not just the one way. It's just the one way I'm showing you that I use for creating a digital product. So I'm just duplicating the shape layer over here so that I'm getting the multiple shapes and the same sizes. And then I'm going to rearrange them every uh, on this particular page of my digital product so that they have... Uh, more cohesive and having the same size and shape and color so probably I'm gonna just duplicate them so that I can rearrange it very well so I'm just gonna quickly rearrange every other shape tool that I want to keep uh, on this particular page so let me just do that so you can see we are about to finish with our digital product of making this checklist I'm just gonna keep a the last shapes uh, downside as well because uh, I want to rearrange them on uh, almost like almost every other almost on the uh, entire page where I can see I can keep this particular shape. So we're almost about to finish up with this one. You can add a lot of the stuffs over here and you can be more creative as you want to. And you can do a lot of the stuffs over here. So I'm gonna merge all the layers that you are seeing currently. I'm selected all the layers and I merge all the layers. And then I'm gonna go over to this file, the save option. And I'm gonna be quickly saving this particular checklist and I'm gonna be taking it out as a JPEG file. You can save it as a PSD or even as a PNG, depending on whatever file size you want to save in. And then you, I'm just saving it. Boom, it's done. Hopefully you find this tutorial useful. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you want more such tutorials or any other video ideas or video requests do you have? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for tuning in today's video. I'll gonna see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye guys.